Welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Chris Shock. He's the Barron County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Good morning, Chris. Hey, good morning, Joanna. Now, Chris, as the temperature gets cooler, mm -hmm. we have some critters that sometimes sure. like to come inside because they're looking for a warm spot to stay. They just want to spend the holidays with us. <laughs> but they can be a nuisance, and we can start getting calls about them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get uh, there's stink bugs and then, and then the attic flies, and probably the big one right now is, is the Asian lady beetle. So absolutely, and they kind of come all these kind of come in swarms. Oh yeah, there's a large number of them, and so they definitely can be a nuisance. Right, it, it, they're not harmful. Okay, they're they're just they're just a nuisance. All right, and and I think you know nobody wants somebody to come over to their house and see bugs in the house or something like that. You know, okay, but they are just you know they're not harmful, but we just got to. We gotta try to prevent them. That's about the best way to do it. And now is probably a perfect time because it's not too terribly cold. No. And so we can go around our house and maybe do some things to keep them out. I like to do that winter walk around or that fall walk around. Okay, you know, um, and if you don't feel comfortable using a caulk gun or if you don't feel comfortable being on a ladder, then get somebody to do it. But you can still identify this. I don't want anybody to do anything they feel uncomfortable with. But a lot of times a little caulk, okay, uh, place, you know, around windows, um, eaves, uh, your garage door, most people's garage door seal doesn't fit very well, okay? And these are tiny little critters and they don't take much of a hole at all uh, to slip through. So, you know, and that's anytime you button things up like that is also going to make your home more energy efficient as well. So, mm -hmm. button up the home is the easiest way to prevent these things. Absolutely. However, they are small. They are small. They might make it in, Chris, they do. They right? Do. And they do. And so a lot of times when people see, especially the Asian lady beetle, mm -hmm. they think it's the ladybug. The, you know, they don't want to get rid of them, but they're actually two different species. They're two different critters. Okay. All right. So depending on how you're looking at the critter, it's got a M on its back or a W on its back, depending on how you're looking at it. But anyway, that, that's a pretty good way. And some of you may not want to get close enough to even do that. But, you know, you can take a picture and then blow it up. That, that's a pretty good way. And if you're having trouble... You can always shoot that picture to your extension agent, okay? We'll be glad to we'll be glad to help you on that, you know, make that positive identification. Absolutely, because with the Asian lady beetle, there are very few natural predators here. Yeah. Your best your best <laughs> your best predator is probably your vacuum cleaner. Okay? And you know, just just suck the critters up, okay? The, the same way with the stink bugs and the attic fly, just to suck them up in the vacuum cleaner. Um, that seems to be the best way, you know, uh, instead of you know trying to do some kind of whole house treatment or something like that, which is which is pretty expensive, and at the end of the day, it's not really that effective if we don't get the whole button up process done too. Right, because that's going to be the preventative if right. we get if we get those holes kind of. But you know, if you leave the door open or something like that, I've had a few kind of mosey in as well. And a lot of times, people think that they should just take the fly swatter to them, but they they leave a residue. Yeah, it kind of, yeah, it, you, you, you can do that, you know, that, that what, but you're going to be cleaning up later, okay? So, again, go back to the vacuum cleaner, just, you know, try to get your whatever, okay? All right? It's, it's kind of satisfying, I guess. But that is the best way, to suck them up through the vacuum cleaner, any type of those, those pests that we have. But mm -hmm. it's never too late, you know, if you're like... A couple weeks from now, you still haven't got everything cocked up, buttoned up, making sure that under your doors there's mm -hmm. no space there. Mm -hmm. It's never too late to do that. Especially now, I think as it gets darker, we might notice as we come up to the house, okay, if we've got lights on, we might, if you can see light, that's, you know, that, that, that's a problem. And, and uh, like I said, to me, the parts that we can't see that are real hard are those weather strippings on the bottom, the sweeps on the bottom of our entry doors, screen doors, garage door, that kind of thing. You know, making sure the, making sure the windows are locked is a, you know, the window can be closed, but it's not sealed until it's locked. So making, you know, that kind of thing can really help. Absolutely. Well, Chris, certainly appreciate the information. And we have information. Mm -hmm. We have a fact sheet on all these insects at the university mm -hmm. if you want to know more about them and sure. make sure to positively identify them. Yeah, just give us a call. You can look them up online, but give us a call. We'll, we'll be glad to help you try to, you know, put that peace of mind there and get, get you the information you need. If you have questions or you have concerns about insect or insect proofing or energy proofing your home, we have a lot of information about both of those at your local extension office and we'd be happy to help you find those. Or you can go online to uky.edu at the College of Agriculture and find those publications online. We appreciate you watching the Farm and Home Show and hope you have a great day.